Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The exemption that allows Insight to operate was set to expire June 30th. Again and again, this government has delayed a decision on this important facility, saying more research needs to be done. Well, the research has been done, and it's absolutely clear. More than 20 studies have demonstrated the health, safety, and cost benefits of Insight. This morning, the criminologist hired by the government said that Insight contributes to public order and saves lives. When will this government listen to the evidence and extend Insight's permit to operate? The uh, Honourable Minister of Health. Well, Mr. Speaker, as the Honourable Member knows, uh, the extension uh, ends on the June 30th and this government will make a decision before that time. I would like to say to this House, however, that I was very pleased to be uh, with the Justice Minister and the Public Safety Minister last week where we announced $111 million to help individuals who are addicted to illicit and, and unhealthy real, drugs uh, for, for, for pre prevention purposes as well to make sure that the kids, our kids get the message that these drugs are unsafe. That's the kind of government that we have in Canada now, a government that cares about addicts and cares about those who would otherwise be twisted onto these very dangerous Drugs. The Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Leading researchers from UBC condemned the government's interference in research on Insight. The only response from the government was that the decision on Insight would not be based on scientific evidence alone. Now, Mr. Speaker, if the Conservative government isn't making its decision based on evidence, then what on earth are they basing it on? Yeah, yeah. What exactly is this government desperately seeking that wasn't covered in more than 20 studies? What are they so afraid of in dealing with the scientific evidence before them? Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Minister of Health. I find it unusual, Mr. Speaker, for the Honourable Member to make that allegation. We're the government that actually wants more research, that actually commissioned more research, because we want to make sure that this decision is the right decision for Canada, the right decision for addicts, the right decision for the community in Vancouver. That's, that's the decision. We, we've made more research, more uh, consideration. That's because we are open-minded. We want to make the best decision for Canada and Canadians. The Honourable Member for Toronto Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My questions for the Minister of